Ladies and Lamont. When Jax was six or seven months old, you took uh, the trip of a lifetime. You went to India. Yes. So tell these guys a little bit about India and, and kind of how that ties back to this original idea and also how maybe it ties into all your experiences as an addict and the things you learn. I mean, it feels like to me that between the addiction, India, and this baby, that you keep learning the same lesson. And writing. Every single thing I know about one thing applies to the other. Sometimes I get to talk to people. I can talk about faith, or I can talk about writing, or I can talk about recovery, or I can talk about anything, and it's all the same stuff, that you, you take small assignments. You can't know more than you do. You start where you are. It won't go that well, but you do it because you do it as, because you have a sacred honor. You have a debt to yourself, a sacred um, prearranged debt to yourself to bring this stuff forth and to try to be of help as you can. And so with India, um, the short assignments, I took it very small. And I always have um, to have a little bit of food around because uh, I get very crazy if I'm hungry. And I can eat like 10 almonds and be restored to full psychic ability. <laughs> but it, without those 10 almonds, I'm just like, like Bobcat Goldthwait. You know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just nuts. So I had food with me and my friend did say, said, if you give a rupee to a single person, I will leave you in the dirt. Because when you start doing your code thing like I go to India with a clipboard and I want to organize people I want to help all the mothers stop putting coal under their baby's eyes because they put it there because it something in the, the K-O-H-L protects babies from the larva of microscopic flies there's a reason see but I go to India with my good ideas and my post-its you know and I'm thinking this really isn't good to have this stuff because it's got like it's like not whole foods right <laughs> and um, and I had to just keep going gently Annie, stop. And um, you're not here to fix or save or help. And India does not seem to want you to organize it. <laughs> and India is a song that, that keeps on playing. And it has played for 10,000 years. And it just keeps doing its own beauty and its own tragedy and its resurrection and its restoration. You see Christ crucified every few minutes. And you can't buy your way out of it. And so I found people I could give money to who could make a difference mostly, and I know you would love this, is that there are people taking education to the girls on the street. And they're going to the streets with the 10 almonds and a bottle of water, and they're teaching them how to read. Because without being able to read, it's pretty hopeless. And so I gave money where I could. I did start a horrible problem in the streets involving about 30 people and two furious cops, security guards, because on the last day I decided it was International Annie Lamont Day and I could give everyone my leftover money. And it was a catastrophe. It was called My Best Thinking. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where you go, well, I'm sure we'll laugh about this someday. Yeah. <laughs> And which means you have screwed up beyond all imagining, and I really had. So you do the best you can.